Coach Me cooking video. This is Steph, dietitian at www.foodcoach.me. It's officially fall. It's been chilly here this weekend, which is my favorite, and that means I'm using a lot of slow cooker meals. Fall means busier schedules. It also means that warm, hearty meals are the best. So you walk in, food is ready, the house smells great, and it's one of my favorites. Because of that, one of my favorite products is the slow cooker liner bag. Now, I didn't get paid by Reynolds to talk about this. I just really like their products. So kudos to you, Reynolds. If you haven't tried the slow cooker liners, this is available in the Ziploc bag aisle, and it's a great way to make cleaning much easier because you have the liner on your cooker. I also really like it on the food prep side of it because I can spend a Sunday afternoon, chop up a bunch of veggies, and put them in one of the bags for each meal. So I'll do three different meals, three different bags, whichever veggies go in the bag. I do that because about 65% of our food preparation for a meal is the cutting, slicing, dicing portion. So that's why I like products that make slicing easier. This is a simple slicer uh, or the food choppers. Just good products that cut and slice and dice things fast, but you can spend one afternoon, get a bunch of vegetables cut, and you've got all your cut vegetables for the next two meals the next couple days. That's probably the longest you wanna leave your vegetables sitting in a bag like this. Uh, but usually, if you have these on Sunday, you could cover Monday and Tuesday night's meals as well. In this bag, I've already sliced a container of mushrooms, two bell peppers, and a small onion. And I just tied them up almost like a garbage bag, put it in the fridge, pulled it back out. And that's the first thing that you put in your slow cooker. So the veggies are done. Then whatever meat you're going to add and whatever canned items or seasonings, that's the faster part. So if you have to get a slow cooker meal ready before you leave work in the morning, makes it much easier. Or you can even put it uh, all together the night before and put the whole base of the slow cooker, like this whole thing, in your refrigerator, but you have to make sure you've got refrigerator space to do that. Next, I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes. Easy as that. And I'm going to add a little can of tomato paste. Let's see if my scraper is gonna get it out. I think it will. Okay, and then I like to have a really good pair of kitchen shears on hand whenever I'm using a meat for a couple reasons. One, it's much easier to trim the fat off the meat. I'm using a plain pork tenderloin or original flavor. You don't want one that's pre-spiced. I'll snip off the package. This whole pork tenderloin was $4. Really an expensive meal I'm putting together here. There's not too much fat on this pork tenderloin, but if there were, these kitchen shears are a great way to get it. Here's a big piece I'll get off right there. Then we're gonna cut this pork tenderloin into smaller pieces, probably an inch to an inch and a half thick. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and cut pieces of meat, and it makes the process much easier with a good pair of kitchen shears. Once we get it all in the crock pot, we're gonna mix it all together. And when I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna cook mine on high for three to four hours, but you could also do it on low for eight hours. Stir all this together. You may not be able to see in here, but it's pretty straightforward. You're just folding all your ingredients together so the tomato paste and the veggies get moved around with the meat mixed in. And then to this, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of oregano. And there you have it. So I'm gonna put this on high. And I'm going to do it for four hours. Even better if you have a crock pot that has that timer on it where once it's hit eight hours, it goes over to warm. Once it hits four hours and so on. So if you have that capability on your crock pot, that's the best. Uh, crock pot meals are a great way to get through this busy time of year, nice and warm and hearty. And for that reason, we're going to have a slow cooker specific food coach me dinner menu. So look for that to come this upcoming weekend. If you love slow cooker meals, you'll really love the menu plan. Be sure to like this video, leave me a comment, share it with your friends, and have a wonderful week of eating.